We have talked a lot about how bad this flu season has been this winter, but there's also a flu virus out there now that is making a lot of dogs ill. The canine influenza is extremely contagious, spreading from dog to dog. But here's an important fact. Humans cannot contract the flu from a dog. Now this dog flu can get serious and quickly. It's now being reported in 46 states, including here in New York. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore is breaking down what dog owners need to know. I'm talking about the canine influenza, best known as the dog flu. Clinical signs for it are, are pretty similar to what they are in people. Um, coughing, lethargy, so just kind of being down and out. Dog flu is a relatively new virus that only passes from dog to dog, either through contact or items like dog bowls, toys, or human clothes. Dr. Kevin Conroe of Orchard Park Veterinary Medical Center says it usually takes two hours of exposure for a dog to get it. It's a little harder um, to get a definitive of diagnosis than you know your dog just visiting the vet um, you have to do like a, a deep nasal swab or a deep um, back of the mouth swab and trying to do that in like an unsedated dog is uh, it can be a little challenging there are two strains of the virus although it's been reported in 46 states including new york no cases have been reported so far in western new york in fact there are a limited number of vets here with the vaccines they probably are not going to prevent the disease but they can reduce the severity of it. Dr. Kumro thinks this virus will become more common as it spreads, but dog owners shouldn't panic. I think you have to let your dog be a dog. You know, uh, I wouldn't recommend that people, uh, you know, put their dogs in a bubble to try and prevent them from, you know, going to doggy daycare, or visiting other, you know, other pets. But pet owners just have to be aware and have to be, um, you know, conscientious that if their dog seems like they're sick, you know, take it to a vet. In Orchard Park, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.